We're here in Tupelo, Mississippi at Our Artworks, and we have the artist Allison Holloway here, and she has three of her pieces of art that she has created, and maybe Allison, do you mind telling us a little about the work that you did? I don't mind at all. I just started in February of this year learning and practicing and doing art. This is like the third painting I ever did, and it's when I was learning to drizzle colors and um, just it's, I don't know what to say about it. It's just fun. It's just me learning to drizzle colors, and like I said, that's the third painting I ever did. What what made you decide to use those colors? Because it's a very colorful piece of I work. I like color. I love color. My favorite color is black because to me it represents all colors. Mm -hmm. It's the presence of all colors. And I just love color. Love bright colors. And, and you said that this is one of the first paintings that you did here? It is. Oh, great. And so maybe you can tell us about the piece in the middle. This is what I call paint skin. What most people would probably throw away as garbage, I tried to make art out of. It's made from the dried pieces of paint in the paint bucket. I just pulled out the pieces as they were like drying to the edge of the container, and then I would pull it out and shape it on the canvas. Wow, so this piece is actually made with just the... Yes. With the dried pieces of paint from... From the container of the... Like, say this is your bucket of paint and how paint dries on the edges. I just kind of dig it out and put it on there. And, and what gave you the idea to do that? I, 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 I This is funny. I'm kind of OCD, I guess. And I like things neat and clean, although you can't tell it from looking at my little workstation. And I just enjoyed pulling the paint out of the container so that the lid would fit on the container better. And then I thought, well, that's beautiful the way the colors would get blended and stuck together, like if somebody dipped their brush and didn't clean it good or whatever, because this was, the color was actually pulled out on that chunk of green. But I hated to throw all that away, so I thought of something that would be fun to create with what other people thought of as garbage. So it's kind of a, maybe it's a butterfly and it's um, reusing the paint. Recycled. That, right, kind of a renewal. Yes. Or transformation in a sense, because it's taking paint that maybe wouldn't have been used and it's turning it into a piece of work. Yeah. I love it. I love paint. I call it paint skins, and I I just love playing in paint skins. That's probably my favorite thing to do. Oh, well. In the next piece, tell us about this one. It looks like it's. It says life is a puzzle, because life is very puzzling. How no matter you know you're given all kind of options and choices to make in life and. I don't know really how to say what I'm thinking, but, you know, it's just to have, you know, when you make choices, it's almost like, did I make the right choice or, I mean, life is just a puzzle. Hmm. Everything is puzzling, you know, relationships and friendships and even what to eat for lunch can be a puzzling. And, and it's fun to do with puzzle pieces. Right, because it's it's made with actually puzzle pieces. It is. And you spend quite a bit of time here. What what is it about creating art that that makes you want to continue to It's keep very doing it? therapeutic. Mm. Very therapeutic. Yeah. Well, um and and how did you get involved with our artworks? William Hurd created our artworks. He's a quadriplegic that um, used art in his physical therapy, and he's, he's an incredible artist. And I guess he 
discovered what it did for him in his therapy, so he wanted to open that up for other adults with disabilities. Hmm. So I met William through LIFE, the Living Independent for Everyone organization, and they told me about our artworks, and here I am. And it has been, I just quit working in December, and I've been coming here since February. William has honestly created a monster because... A, a monster in you? A monster. An art it, monster? An art monster, I, he has. And um, it has just been, it's been fun, it's been great. We are here every Tuesday from 2 to 5, and then we are here most Friday and Saturdays from 10 to 3. And anything that the, um, I'm trying to think what you'd call me, anything that the artist sells either goes back into the organization, all of our artwork is then put out in the gallery, and the money either goes to the artist or it goes back into the our artworks organization. Well, Allison, I really appreciate you taking a few minutes to explain all this wonderful creations that you have here.